I was first diagnosed in my early 20s. I was working for a high-tech company and my uh, coworker noticed that I looked tired and I had yellow in my eyes and my skin. And at the same time, around that time, my mom became involved in the hepatitis B awareness cause. And so I had some information about hepatitis B. I went straight to my family physician and had him test me. And the test did indeed come back positive. I kind of started to freak out a little bit because um, I knew the statistics and I told people every day that a million people die every year from it and um, I read stories about 20 year olds who get diagnosed with hepatitis B and then die before they hit 25 because of liver cancer. So I was first diagnosed in 1998 when I was donating blood and I volunteered to donate blood and a week or two later in the mail I get a letter saying that they're not able to use my blood because I have the hepatitis B antigen in my, in my blood so they won't be able to use it. I was first diagnosed with hepatitis B when I first got pregnant in 2004 with my first daughter. After I got off work um, the same day that I got diagnosed I um, of course called my parents first and told them. Um, I talked to my mom on the phone and um, told her what my, what my boss had told me, um, that I had hepatitis B and I explained to her what it meant because um, I don't think she really knew what it was or um, what it could do. So after I told her and told her that um, the most likely mode of transmission was between mother and child, um, she um, she started to apologize and said, um, sorry, like, it's my fault, isn't it? Um, and then I think she just felt really guilty for it. Um, so, yeah, that was the hardest part. My mom has it. She's also a carrier, uh, as well as my siblings. And it's mostly because when she gave birth, she had no knowledge of the disease. Uh, I definitely felt that it was very important to learn more about health, to make sure that you know everybody in my family, my friends, that they're tested for hepatitis B and other you know health issues, and that everybody gets vaccinated. Yeah, after I told my mom and she told my dad that I had hepatitis B, I um, I told them all to get tested and. Um, my dad and my sister got tested. I think people need to be their own health advocates. So when you know that you have the possibility of being exposed to hepatitis B, you have to be your own advocate. You have to make the decision to go to your doctor and ask him to test you. First learned I had hepatitis B, I was a little scared. Um, and that's, I think, looking back, purely because of the lack of education. So I took the time to learn more about it and um, really sat down with my doctor and asked him the questions that I had on my mind and he gave me all the information I needed and after I learned about it then it wasn't such a scare big scary thing. The diagnosis was definitely a lot scarier than the reality of it. Um, uh, the, the daily routine is the same and it doesn't, I don't feel any symptoms and I don't feel any different so most days I just, I don't even think about it. I run and bike and hike with my family. Uh, I run after my two toddlers, which is, I think, the most active thing someone can do. I realized really nothing is going to change in my life. I'm going to start on a series of medication, and after the medication's done, then it should stabilize my liver numbers. Um, that I don't really need to change anything in my lifestyle. Just, you know, eat a little healthier, remember to exercise, and keep a low level of stress in my life, which is a recommendation that every doctor would give every patient, really. To take care of myself, I visit the doctor every six months for two testing. 
um, they're just blood work and then um, every one year it's recommended that I get the ultrasound. Every six months I go get a simple blood test just to test my AFP and ALT and then once a year I just go to the hospital and get an ultrasound. That's it. So it is important that I take care of myself by getting those checkups um, because I need to be able to be there for my three kids because if I don't take care of myself and something does happen to me or if I do get liver cancer then you know further on in the long run then I wouldn't be able to be there for them. The only thing is I shouldn't drink alcohol because the alcohol that directly affects the liver and that made sense to me so I just don't drink or I if I do, I only have, you know, a small glass of wine here or a small glass of wine there. I did drink, I did, did all the partying, but after I found out that I was a hepatitis B carrier, my doctor suggested that I should stay away from alcohol, away from smoking. Um, I recently turned 21 and I didn't have a crazy party. I didn't drink at all. Um, and I'm okay with it, I don't mind. Yes, I have been very afraid to tell people that I have hepatitis B. I'm scared that man, uh, they'll treat me different. May, a lot of people don't know about hepatitis B and they may think that I can give it to them by drinking water with them, sharing food with them, and so forth. But over the years, they've realized that hepatitis B is not a secret anymore in the Asian community. It's not something that you hide in shame. You bring it out and you talk to people about it and it's not something that can be transmitted through casual contact and people can get tested and vaccinated. If it is brought up then I'm not afraid to say it because that's part of me and it's not something that was intentionally or something on purpose that was done to me or anything like that but that's just part of who I am. I have shared my diagnosis with my company because I do work in the healthcare industry and they need to know that. And I have not felt any discrimination whatsoever. My friends and family all know I have hepatitis B. None of them have changed the way they interact with me. When I was first diagnosed with hepatitis B, I was um, dating a guy pretty seriously at that point for a couple years. So I immediately told him and um, he was very cool about it. <laughs> He, um, you know, just helped me get through it, and um, I told him to get tested and to get his family members tested, which he did. Um, <clears throat> and my current boyfriend, I told him after just a few times that we had gone on dates because I, don't, I would feel guilty, I guess, if I didn't tell him early on. And he was okay with it. He was, um, he was just glad I told him. I think it's great that in the United States every mother who becomes pregnant is tested for hepatitis B because what better time to find out than when you have the possibility of transmitting it to your child. So if you know your hepatitis B, it's no big deal. All you have to do is make sure that you vaccinate your children and you know there's nothing else you have to think about after that. When I was born, the hepatitis B vaccine wasn't routinely given for um, babies at birth um, if their moms had hepatitis B. Um, so maybe if it had been um, required when I was born, I wouldn't have hepatitis B now. I didn't get the vaccine until um, three or four before I started kindergarten. I found out that I could protect my infant from hepatitis B by um, vaccinating him. So right after he was born, he received the HBIG and then a series of three hepatitis B shots. My doctor told me to tell the hospital staff that I was a hep B carrier and to make sure that they remember that after I deliver the baby, that she gets two shots after birth within the 12 hours to protect her from getting hepatitis B. My daughter got the testing for hepatitis B. When I found out that my daughter wasn't a hepatitis B carrier, I was happy, relieved, and so, so blessed. It's really the last, th hepatitis B and my children having hepatitis B really is 
in the back of my mind. I never have to think about it because they've received the vaccinations and they've tested positive with the antibodies. So I know that I never have to think about them having hepatitis B. I was very relieved when I found out that there was a, a prevention for my children and that hepatitis B would stop with me. It was a relief for me to know that hepatitis B could stop right at me and didn't have to get passed on to my daughter. Knowing that it'll stop with me is just, I don't know, makes it kind of easy to live with. I think um, I feel that having my children vaccinated gives me a sense of security knowing that they will never contract hepatitis B and that I have protected them for life.